Hi ladies and gentlemen and welcome to IT Snippets. Today I'm going to show you how I create my thumbnails for my videos and I'm going to do so by creating the thumbnail for this actual video just now. So let's get started. Now the application I use or rather the website I use to create my thumbnails is called Pixlr. That's www.pixlr.com and when you go to pixlr.com you get a choice between their cut down version of their editor and their advanced version of their editor. They both have their pluses and minuses. Uh, I actually prefer the original version of Pixlr which they no longer actually have access to. That's the one I always had to use. So as a result of this I'm basically just going to use the playful Pixlr X. Now as you can see I've already created some things here. I'll blur some of this out in post but I would go to open image. Now the reason I would go to open image and then show all files is because I actually have a file called tn which is thumbnail underscore base okay and I open that give it a moment okay so in order to create this tn underscore base what I actually did and I'm going, the reason I'm not showing you how I did this particular part is because the rest of what I'm about to do is pretty much the same thing. And I can't recreate this as I do not have my Lion Rampant logo anymore. I don't have the image for that on its own. So I created the itsnippets.co.uk using the Comic Sans font and a text input. I put it down on a, as a dark colour. And then I put it down as a blue colour over and above. I added the lion rampant in and then I gave it an outline as you can see of white pixels just to make it stand out that little bit more. So back to creating one for this video. Click on my text icon, click on add new text and it gives you some very basic stuff. I've already got the comic font selected however you can click on here and change the font and if the font's not there but you have it in your computer you can do add local font. Anyway, we're going to use comic for this one. So we then click on the text here and we put the information we want it to do. So I can do how I create my thumbnails and I'll put some returns in and I'll put using pixlr.com editor. Or I'll actually put using the Okay, so that looks like garbage because it's obviously over my logo, but if I click off this, I can click back on it and then I can move this up to the top. Now we might have to adjust this again later on, however, I click here to add an outline. Now my outline colour is always the same colour as my lion, so I click on that. That's nice, but it's a bit too thick, so we scroll down a little bit and I bring this down to just one pixel. So there we go. Now, I always, if I'm using something like Plex or Windows, I always have the company logo in there as well. So if we go over here, I've went to bing.com, so just www.bing.com slash images. And I've done a search for the Pixlr logo and PNG. The reason I selected PNG is because PNGs already have a transparent background. And now I just need to pick the one that I think is going to stand out most, possibly this one. Okay, so I select that. I can right click and copy. I can go over here and I can control V to paste it in. And as you can see, it's not actually letting me select the pixel R icon itself to move it around. So, again, this is why I don't like the fact that they've now split this into two applications. So, if I open another tab up here and instead of using pixel R X, I use pixel R E. I open this up, I should be able to select my image. There we go, as you've seen, I just selected it on the side and then move it around. I don't know why that doesn't work in the other version. There we go. So I try and get the text roughly about the same size as the rest of the text. So I can hold shift and use this on the corner to shrink it down a little. That's probably about right. And then I'll move that into the center. Something else that my videos always have 
as they always have a emoji of some kind. Now I've already got some of these stored in my system, but for the sake of it, I'll look for I'll look for something different over here. So I'll come out of my pixel art search and I will search for what will I search for? A big smile emoji. Okay, so I mean, there's plenty of these. The one with the thumbs up looks good. You'll want to try and look at the licenses and hopefully find something that's free to modify and use commercially or free to share and use commercially so that you don't actually get a copyright strike for it. The companies aren't likely to target you with their logo if you're using their logo because you're, you're actually promoting you know, their service. Okay, so that's not actually a PNG, but I can copy that image anyway. I can go back in here. I can go File and New Image. I'm just going to select a full HD image. Click Create. And then I'm going to paste this one in. And then I'm going to select this Magic Wand tool over here. Click on here. And if I click Delete, there we go. The background goes. I can do Control A, Control C. Or you can go up to the Edit menu and do Copy. And then if I go back to my TN base, I can control V, it pastes it in. Okay, so as you can see, that's not quite perfect, right? So I'm going to do control Z, which means undo, and then go back here. And then I'm going to use my mouse wheel to move in. And as you can see, there's just some stuff around the edges here. Of course, it's not letting me select anything because everything's already selected. Okay, so select, deselect. Then we're just trying to trim all this bit around here. Okay, delete that and then zoom in, select something else, or some bits I missed there. And to delete it, I'm literally just selecting it and pressing delete because obviously it's a transparent background image therefore trim a little bit of white here it's just deleting it from the main image that looks a bit better so I'll do control A and control C it's not perfect because it's obviously got the white border and then I'll go back over to my main image I'll do control V that's not bad Select my pointer, bring it down, it's usually down in the bottom corner, and then I hold shift and I bring it up a bit in size. That's maybe a bit big, so just shrink that down a little. And there we go, that's you know how I create my thumbnails using the Pixlr editor with the Pixlr logo and a smiley on it. And once I've done that, it literally is just a case of going to File and then Save and giving it a name. And clicking download and there we go if I now go to my downloads folder you can see that it's been downloaded if you like this video give it a like if you dislike this video give it a dislike too if you get feedback in this or any other videos or suggestions for videos you believe you should do in the future then please let us know in the comments below and most of all thank you for watching